Hello guys, it's Arms Friday update day. Whoop, 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 whoop. Greetings, Animal Revolters. This week we have some seriously cool new things for you to play with. Firstly, please welcome a new mighty addition to the giant invertebrates, the giant praying mantis. Weirdly, ages ago this was on their list. I thought it got taken off, but they've put it back on again. That's good news. Two new powerful weapons have been added to the unit creator. Lightning gun, hell yeah, plasma cannon. This is the good bit, guys. Ready for this? For fans of Godzilla, you can now use the plasma beam T-Rex head, which can both bite and shoot plasma beams. Boom! That's pretty goddamn impressive. This is good. Today's video will be focusing on probably the Praying Mantis, but we'll give the Lightning Gun and the Plasma Cannon a brief go as well to test out all the new additions. But we've also got the Parasaurolophus torso as well. Excellent stuff. Let's go and test these bad boys out. So firstly, guys, as you can see up here now, we've got the Control Y, Control Z, Redo and uh, Undo buttons up there, visible. Probably a good idea, so people are more aware of them. Good work, video mentioned to make sure no one can slack off there. Anyway, whoops, don't mean to click on that. Let's get going with these new units. So I'm guessing they're going to be in the giant invertebrates. Bro, oh my god, this dude looks huge. How the... Oh my god, he looks awesome, man. Look at the size of this boy to start with. Oh, wow, he looks an absolute bad ass, boys. I mean, he's looking beyond. Let's get a close on these eyes. The reflection in those eyes is impressive. Beyond belief. I'm slightly confused how in his eyes you can see water and um, trees. I mean, this guy can see things I can't see because I ain't seen any water or trees. But if you look closely, you look close enough. This is maybe faffing around, guys. But look, there is definitely a different background in his eyes than actually visible to anybody. And there as well, look, we've got some um, some mountains, some clouds, some sea, and some rocky-looking landscape. Um, this guy might be hallucinating, actually, in his actual eyeballs. Anyway, all irrelevant, but this guy is seeing things which aren't there. Very, very strange indeed. What's his value? 140. I'm pretty sure we know who's at 140 as well. Step up, Mr. T-Rex boy. No, not you, not even you. What, a Spinosaurus? I'll do a Spino versus you. I mean, he's pretty damn big. This Prime Mantis is massive, man. I just thought of a unit that is 140. That's the uh, Cosrog. We'll give him a go in a minute. Spino boy, let's see what he can do. Oh my god, look at him. He's a bit epic, isn't he? He's huge! He's absolutely huge. Guys, Arbs season, Arbs League Season 2. Is this guy going to be a contender? We're getting some really strong units now. The question is, how strong is he? He's not getting much of an attack on him, though, is he? Because the Spino is kind of like. Well, now he is. Now he's getting the, his big old claws in. This Prey and Madness looks pretty terrifying. Imagine an army of these boys. They're creepy as hell, man. A creepy army of these boys. Oh, he's put him down pretty quick though. Uh, wow. I mean, this dude's scary as hell though to look at. He's a bit freaky. Okay, let's try him against a like for like comparable unit from the fan not fancy from the infernals even. I'm pretty sure it's oh, he's 150. Ah, uh, I'll do an Ogre Lord then, that's fine. Ogre Lord's nearly there. I'm sure we've got someone who's 140. Maybe I'm thinking of the Gorehammer, but the Gorehammer, much like this guy, is gonna get shots in before he gets anywhere near him. Which is gonna give him a massive advantage. Let's see what this guy can take the damage though when the praying mantis gets in close. He's getting pretty smashed now. Can he take it? That's the question. Oh, the praying mantis is swinging and swinging and swinging and swinging. But were those two early blows enough to finish him off? That's the question. Maybe if I put them closer together, it would have been a different story. He might still win, to be fair. So I'm guessing he's not got the most powerful attack, but he's got a very speedy attack. He's getting getting a lot of blows in. Can he take down a unit that's $10 less than That's the question. We all want to know who's the, the, the For the people who are in the ARP Subscriber League, especially those of you who want to keep your, your team values to a minimum for anything you're trying to do. Oh, he's put him down all right. Good work. That little sly look over there. This guy's creepy as hell, man. But I like him. I like him. He's a decent unit. He looks he looks really smart, man. Like, really, really smart. How much are you worth? Oh, Purosaurus is 140. We've got an exact like for like. Let's give him a go against the Purosaurus. Two very, very different units in their forms of attack. He's gone straight for the leg. Let's be honest. He could snap that leg off that thing in seconds, surely. Oh, he's gone for the barrel roll. I feel like the Prime Mantis is going to win this one, but the barrel rolls. Oh, if he gets, if he suffers from fall damage, the Prime Mantis is going to get a bit there. The problem with the Prime Mantis is he's very vulnerable to anything that's got jaws. His legs are really vulnerable to getting picked up and thrown about. So T Rex, anything like that is going to be really vulnerable. I want to try the Goro because Goro is a bit different in that he can't grab on. So I actually wonder how we'll do against him. The Goro will be more powerful in general. Let's be honest, but this guy attacks pretty damn quick. So I don't know. Let's see. Oh, Prime Manus is literally raining hell down on the Purosaurus now, surely. Purosaurus started this battle better, but now the Prime Manus has got the upper hand. Maybe we should have a 1v1 battle between these guys. Oh, he's done a leg sweep. The boy is down out of nowhere. He looked like he was fighting back there. Leg sweep. Well, not a leg sweep. A tail sweep from the Purosaurus. Prime Manus goes down hard. Right. Let's beef up the old unit, shall we? In fact, let's do one more, do one more battle, and then we're going to start checking out these laser guns. In fact, why don't we give this guy a laser gun? Oh, yeah. Lightning gun. And plasma. Where's the plasma one? 
can't see it. Don't worry, it doesn't matter at the moment. Let's put some plasma guns, or some lightning guns on this bad boy. Let's put one right on your face. There, let's see what the lightning gun does to start with, then we'll do the, pla the plasma. Where's the plasma one then? Weapons 2? Plasma cannon, oh my god, it's in a complete separate section. Uh, let's just leave that for now. Let's just do one battle as it's 240. Okay, we'll leave it for now. We'll give him against the Hydra because the Hydra is 200, so he should beat the hell out of him. Right, let's see what this laser, this lightning gun does. Whoa! Electrocute this son of a gun. Oh my word. I think I'll take him down pretty quick with that, surely. He's give him a cuddle. A very aggressive cuddle, but a cuddle nonetheless. Boys, this dude is, is causing some serious danger to him. My god, man. My god. What have you got, fella? What have you got? Boom! Is he put him, he's, oh, he's, oh, he's got him. He's got him, man. He's got him down. Oh, he's taking him down pretty rapid. Lightning gun. Good head success. Good work, lightning gun. That was nice. Right. Onto the plasma cannon now. Let's take that off your nose, dude. Let's give you a plasma cannon now as well. Uh, where's plasma cannon gone? Weapons 2. Let's see what this is about. $200. This thing, I'm expecting big things. All different colours. Nice. This, this thing's huge. Is that... Wow, this thing's really big. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this guy... This has got a giantly aggressive face now. Never mind. Right. Do you know what? I think we should probably give give this team... Only $170 units? That's roughly two Goros, right? Close enough. Two Goros. Can he take down two Goros? The big ass 1v2. Oh my god! Oh my god, the plasma cannon looks amazing. Oh my god, that's got to be doing some serious damage, man. Can he take down two Goros? That's the question. There's a lot of fall damage coming in for the for the Prey Mantis though here. Plasma cannons are a bit epic. Oh my god, look at that. It looks so cool, man. Whoa, okay. He took them down really quick. God damn. Wow, that's pretty impressive, man. That is an impressive, impressive beast of a, um, of a gun. Right, do you know what we're going to do now? Right, we'll finish this off. Um, I'm going to save this guy quickly as a, um, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a unit. Mantis Plasma. Okay, only because I want to save this guy out. Uh, I don't give him a monkey, but that's fine. I want to give this guy a go. Okay, fine. Save, 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 save. I want to give this guy a go in large numbers and see what happens when we've got loads of plasma guns going off, just because it'll look really cool. Where have you gone, dude? Mantis, 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 Mantis. I cannot see you at the bottom of my screen! There you go, Mantis Plasma. What a lovely little thumbnail that is. <laughs> right. One big battle. We'll do one battle with plasma and one battle without plasma, because why not? Well, biggish battle. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's put a few more down, shall we? I don't know how much he's going to lag. I think we'll be fine. 25 of them, 8,500. That's a lot of, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of money. To balance that, we're going to have a serious lot of units on this side. Let's just do all Goros? Yeah. This is a lot of Goros. This is going to lag for sure. I will. Come on then, Goros. What have you got? Goros versus Prey Mantis Plasma Army. Oh, I've gone too many. I got carried away. I got excited with the numbers. Dum 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 dum. That's close enough. 45 versus 25. They're gonna wreck these boys up. In fact, that's not quite right numbers wise. There we go. There we go. Nearly 2v1. Oh, look at the plasma bit. Look at the plasma beams, boys. They look so good. They look so good. This is pretty really loud now. I purposely turned down the um, the volume at the start of this and just turned up again. Might regret that. Look at the plasma beams everywhere, man. It looks awesome. It's just some, some kind of like strobe light -like rave party is going on in arms right now with all these plasma beams. These look epic, man. Oh my god, they're absolutely destroying them. Whoa, that was quick. Holy moly, that was quick. That is epic. That is seriously epic. Okay, right, let's just clear. We'll leave team two in, team two in place can stay there. Let's try the same thing with the with the laser guns and see if they can do a similar job. Get the old Mantis dude back in one more time. Come on, old Mantis dude, in you get. Boom, 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 boom. Let's get a lightning gun on your nose and create you as a little unit as well. And we'll see how, how effective this is, is, is in comparison. Right, 240. Oh, I'm gonna have to clear. I'm gonna have to clear the units off though. Ugh. That's what I thought. God damn it. Okay, so we've got we've got to take on 48 of them. We'll we'll test them out in a second. Right, let's get let's get this guy saved out as well and quickly. Mantis lightning. There we go. We don't need that. Anyway. It's all good. Right, save out for me, buddy. Save out for me. There we go. Right. Now let's try this guy in large numbers as well. So we'll get 8,500 worth of these boys first over here again, like before and see if these guys can take them down equally as comfortably. There'll be less of them this time. No, sorry, more of them this time. I went next to lightning. Right, 8,000... 
That'll be fine, that's right. And then we'll do the old prayer manuses on this side, but we'll do the lightning manuses. Manus lightning, here we go. Right, let's see how many of these we'll get. More than we had before. These won't drag out in place for some reason, I don't know why, they're just not having it. Right, I'm going to go out this time. Dum 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 dum. Take one off there, there goes. 35 versus 48. Let's see how these guys go. Well, how close they got to be before they can fire lightning as well is the question. Oh, here it comes. Raining down the lightning hell, boys. I'll do one more battle off this one, guys, as well, where I'll just test them like for like without having any weapons on and see what they can do then in a the bigger battle. There'll obviously be more praying mantises then, but I want to see what they can do. If they can take them down. Oh, the health bars are on. Someone didn't mean to put the health bars on. Let's turn the health bars off. They just messy when there's so many units on. I'm not a fan of health bars. They're useful in some ways, but I don't like having them on. I like to not know what's going to happen with the units. It's more fun when you don't know what's going to happen here. They're struggling a bit more this time. I think they're doing. Oh no, I say that. Not even, there's no one dead yet over there. They look like they're dead because they're just in one big pile in the middle, but actually none of them are dead at all. Holy moly! Right. Final battle against the Goros one more time. We love the Goros. We're going to just do a standard Prey Mantis this time. A standard without any additional stuff. So we've got 8,640 to, to match up with. It's going to be quite a lot of units. Oh well. Let's see if the Goros can get some revenge in this final battle. This final large scale battle. Dum 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 dum. And. That's as close as we're going to get. Oh no, one more. There we go. 40 difference. 62 versus 48. Final battle. Can praying mantises with no bonus weapons still take the Goros down or will the Goros get the edge here? Final battle of the video, guys. Don't forget, guys, please make sure you smash like and hit subscribe on the video if you are an ARBS fan and you're seeing my videos for the first time. I do lots of ARBS content on my uh, channel. Oh, we've got some lag going here, boys. I'm guessing CPU-wise, the praying mantises being the size they are with whatever animations they've got are causing issues because this isn't the greatest number of units to have on but my god this is causing some issues with the old with the old computer performance whoa there oh my word this is really causing some issues surely the goros are going to get some revenge here is this the time for the goros to, to rise in the final battle of the video the plasma cannon though looks epic and so does the um lightning cannon i know we didn't cover the t-rex the, the t-rex head but you it's just a t-rex head with a plasma cannon you've seen what the plasma cannon can do, can do you can put it on your own unit yourselves can't you i'll let you guys do all that yourselves who's coming good here then we've not seen too many goros go down yet but then they can't they've got to take quite a lot of, of these prey mantises out before they can start dying oh this is looking fairly even i'd say it's probably the prey mantises have got the advantage at the moment from what i can see anyway it looks like there's the prey mantis oh goro launched in the background there I think Goros are going to die again here, boys. It's hard to tell. There's quite a few Prime Manasses down as well. It's really hard to tell. I can't... Oh, this is a close one. This is a really close one, actually. Pound for pound, dollar for dollar. Who's going to get this one in the bag? Prime Manasses are coming good now, I think. There's, there's quite a few of them moving in here, boys. There's quite a good, strong group of Goros on the far side, though. These Goros can kill off like five or six of these ones. Oh, they're not, they're getting outnumbered now. The Prey Manises, the swarm of Prey Manises is coming good. Still lagging. I don't know what it's lagging for now. I thought it would ease off it now. I can't see how the Goros can... Well, there's just not enough Goros left. The Goros are, are low in numbers. The Prey and Mantis swarm are coming for him. There's only a couple left now. They've got no chance. Prey and Mantises are going to boss this as well. Decent unit. I would say these guys are a very decent unit indeed. So good work, Vida mentioned, for creating yet another awesome and highly... A kind of highly powered unit as well, I'd say. $140. You've got quite a few big units. The ARBS subscriber league people. We've got some real um, plans to do when it comes to the next season, I tell you. Because this is a... There's a lot of units to pick from this time. A lot of units to pick from. This guy, go down. How is it still lagging when there's only like a handful left? The CPU performance for these Prey Manners is really killing me. Anyway, guys. Even now, it's still hurting me. Anyway, guys. Let's go back to this. That's better. That's better. Anyway, what do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments what you think of these guys. I think they're pretty goddamn epic, to be fair. Even if they are killing my computer performance a lot. Even if you've got some really weird reflections in your eyes that do not in any way replicate what's behind you. I find that very strange. I think that's what's confusing the opponents and making them lose. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you smash like, hit subscribe. Hopefully, I'll see you on my channel very soon for some more ARBS content. And until next time, guys, cheers all. Bye.